with your energy forecast for Saturday, July 6th. Okay, so we are still very much in the new moon energy. So again, the post-lunar hangover is very real. We just had the new moon in Cancer pop off late last evening, and so we're very much still sitting in the feels. We're probably very serious, very somber, a little bit more introverted here today. We're just kind of heavy and weighted. We are going to feel some, I'm going to say, inner realm changes shift prior to actually seeing the physical realm shift. We're in for a very interesting week of building, of pivoting, of creating something new, but we have to sit in the realizations, in the insights that have been popping off under this new moon influence. We are still here today going to be putting into perspective some thoughts, some ideas, some emotions, really kind of gain some clarity on what it is that we're moving away from, where it is that we're moving closer to some new aspects. Of course, the moon and the sun very much together at this point at the 15th degree of this cancer energy signals the halfway point of this cancer season. So again, we're pivoting out of focusing on the past and being too attached to some of the things in the past. We're pivoting into the present moment. This is what we're dealing with today is really kind of gaining our bearings, if you will, with some of the aha moments, the profound insights that are going to continuously pop off for the next couple of days in order for us to pivot and start considering what we need to do, what we need to pursue as far as futuristic aspects, topics, and themes go. So the moon is still very much in this cancer energy for the majority of the day. The last, well, four minutes of the day, we are going to be in the Leo energy. And of course, the transition from the moon being in her placement of power in cancer energy to Leo energy is always a welcome one because it kind of I'm going to say plucks us out of this deep ocean of emotion that we find ourselves in when the moon is in cancer. That Leo energy being a fixed fire sign kind of dries us off, emotionally speaking, kind of warms us up a bit, puts us in a different demeanor, different mood, different attitude to be bold and brave and courageous with our thoughts, ideas, affections. We are definitely going to be more in that mood and attitude here on Sunday, but we're going to get a little bit of a taste of that particular energy at the very end of the day here today. So with all of that being said, the moon in Cancer will be going void, of course, at 11.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We lock into that Leo energy at 11.56 p.m., and that pretty much wraps up our day. There are eight different aspects popping off here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. So the one that does not involve the moon, this is what we're going to kick the day off with, if you will, is Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this cancer energy, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. So no doubt this is going to open up some wounds, the wounds that got exposed to us in the last couple of days as we approach the peak potency of that new moon in cancer that we just had. This particular, let's call it interaction, is definitely going to put us in a situation to kind of sit with ourselves, to explore our feelings, to really see where it is that we're feeling raw and vulnerable, where it is that we're kind of confused about what to do, where to go from here. We are going to be hypersensitive. We are a little bit more withdrawn because, again, we are in this new moon energy still, which means that there's no illumination of the moon's light in the sky. We have to sit in the, the funkiness, the darkness, if you will. And because Venus is all about, you know, her happiness and her joy, her safety, her security and stability, not only in the physical realm, but where her relationship dynamics are concerned, Chiron being the wounded healer aspect in a not so nice way is going to illuminate the wounds. We have to sit in it in order to actually realize what we have to feel in order for us to heal. Now, this is going to be a analysis, if you will, of our inner realm and a real good interpretation of where it is that we're feeling very uncomfortable in our own skin, in our own physical realms, in our own relationships, and where it is that a major change has to take place. Now, is it going to feel good? No. Is it supposed to? 100% no. 
Is it going to lead to some powerful insights on what we have to do to improve, to be better, to change our physical realm in order to essentially start healing these wounds? 100% yes. So the moon in Cancer then goes ahead and trines beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over rules, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, discipline, retrograde. So an inner examination in this Pisces energy of our boundaries, of where it is that we're resisting bossing up to new roles and responsibility, where it is that we haven't been doing so good with our willpower or determination, our discipline, if you will. Now, this is a positive interaction. This is a trine. This is water on water action. So this isn't a negative Nancy type of mood or attitude. What this is, is a boss up energy. So what we're bossing up to is realizing, again, where it is that we're pivoting away from crying over situations and circumstances that went, went, aren't fair, went, went, not what I wanted, went, went, not what I expected, whatever. We're growing up. We're bossing up. We understand that karmically speaking, those situations had to happen. Those circumstances had to pop off in order to push us into our power and in our inner realm of analyzing where it is that we do have to make some changes in order to kind of be the vibration and frequency that is going to be the right match for the goals, the visions, the dreams that we now want to manifest, we have some work to do. We're rising to the challenge. We are not running away. We are not crying. We are not pulling out of wanting to make the changes that we know that we need to make. This is a, I'm going to call it cleansing period, a purification period, a major change, major transformation in our mood, in our attitude on what it is now that we have to do, what we have to pursue, what we have to build, what we have to create first within ourselves before we're going to see those changes manifest in our external realm. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in Taurus energy, thus why we haven't been making very many moves. There's not a whole lot of action to take place in our external realm because the whole point of this particular energy is to build up our self-confidence, build up our self-worth, really kind of cultivate that inner spark, that fire, that flame that is needed in order for us to bulldoze through the challenges, through the obstacles that we all face when trying to bring something new to life. Now, this particular interaction definitely going to do wonders for our mood, for our attitude. We're bossing up into this warrior type of spirit to recognize where it is that, yep, we've been sleeping on ourselves. Yep, we've been trying to make excuses for ourselves, but that particular stage of the game is now over. This is going to inspire us, to motivate us, to really tap into a new level of determination. And again, whether you are using a happy-go-lucky, exciting, inspiring type of fuel or you are using anger and frustration as your fuel, doesn't matter at this point. We just have to be building our inner realm to a new point of wanting to take action, wanting to make moves before we're actually going to be gifted with the green light go ahead to actually do so in our physical realm. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Chiron. So as you know, as we build ourselves up, as we're kind of growing, as we're healing, as we reach new vibrations and frequencies, the dark force programming, that egoic programming kicks in, tries to pull us on back. Again, the dark force programming does not want us to grow, does not want us to heal, wants us to stay in a state of paralysis. Again, not evolving. And so we just had some powerful epiphanies kind of push us into a new mood, new attitude, new perspective, if you will. And now this is where the programming is going to suck us back in. Suddenly we are feeling raw. We are feeling vulnerable. We're feeling fearful, insecure. We're not feeling competent. We're not feeling capable of doing all the things that we just realized that we have to do. Now, this is a false programming. But again, many of us can get lost in this negative narrative. We are going to struggle with it because a square is a point of growth. The tension, the conflict that emerges within us while figuring out what it is that we're actually afraid to do, actually afraid to pursue, is going to push us into this new warrior type of spirit where we're not going to let those fears, doubts, and insecurities actually hold us back. So although this doesn't feel good, it is necessary in order for us to kind of retract from some of those powerful epiphanies, powerful, profound insights on what we have to do, where we have to change, what we have to transform. We step back from that. 
we sit in the funk, we kind of cry about it for a little minute, and then what happens? We get to boss up again. The moon is then going to come up to, bump into, team up with Venus. This is a conjunction, just as much of an ending of a chapter as it is a beginning of a chapter. We are putting our pain, our trauma wounds behind us especially with the pain and trauma that we've accumulated through some tough love life lessons where relationships are concerned as of late. This is going to be a realization what it is that we are coming to terms with, what we're truly accepting for the circumstances that we're currently sitting in, where it is that we understand that that karmic chapter had to happen in order to push us into our power. We gracefully kind of release the pain and trauma, the heaviness, the weight that we've accumulated thus far. And the beginning part is that we're in a new perspective, a new mood, new attitude, new emotional chapter to identify the wants, needs, and desires that we currently have for ourselves and what we have to do, what we have to build in our lives in order to stabilize, provide us with a sense of safety and security that we just realized we've been lacking. And that in turn is going to kind of empower us to really get our shit together, to really put one foot in front of the other and start doing what we have to do for ourselves. The moon is then going to semi-square Jupiter. So a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict. Now, why? Well, because Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. He's in Gemini energy. So the choices, the options are very divided. They are very extreme when in comparison to each other. But here's the thing, emotionally speaking, we are not ready to take action and make moves in the external realm in order to align with the goal, the vision, the dream that we are currently cultivating inside of us. We are not feeling confident. We are not feeling our best selves. We're not feeling like we have the energy or the ability to make major moves or decisions at this particular juncture, at this particular point. And so where there actually is options for growth, we are turning a blind eye to this. Now, that doesn't mean that it is going to be removed. It just means that emotionally speaking, we have a little bit more stabilizing to do in our inner realm before we're going to feel confident enough, prepared enough to do anything about it in our external realm. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. This is going to be the shift that we need in order to really put in perspective what we have to change. We're willing to take a risk. We're willing to actually think about the future. We're willing to think about the steps needed and required in order for us to break away from where it is that we're at to gain momentum towards where it is that we would desire to be. There's likely going to be a profound shift in our mental plane and then in our heart space on seeing things from a different light. Things aren't as scary from this perspective. Things aren't as, I'm going to say, heavy and weighted at this particular juncture, that Uranian energy opening us up to a new level of consciousness, a new level of awareness. We are acting as the observer, seeing things from a different set of eyes, making it a lot more favorable to see the smaller changes that we could be making in the present moment in the here and now that will equal big changes and transformations in the very near future. The moon in Cancer energy going to make a trine with Neptune now retrograde in his place of power in Pisces energy here at the 29th degree. This means that the moon is at the 29th degree. This means that this is the last aspect that the moon is going to be making before shifting into Leo energy. This is a trine, which means that water on water action. This is a renewal. This is a refresher. This is a reset of our soul, of our spirit, especially where the goals, the visions, the dreams are coming into play. Again, Neptune freshly in a retrograde. This is a time for us to deal with life as it is, not for the way that we wished it would be. Why? Because there are certain aspects from the old realm, the old reality, the old version of self that needs to be cleared away, needs to be brought to a certain completion point, a certain closure point before we can actively start pursuing new wants, new needs, new desires, new goals, new visions, new dreams. This is not a scary thing. This is something that is going to empower us, make us feel confident that we have what it takes to do whatever is required of us to break away from this current situation and start building towards a new vision, a new goal, a new dream. So, 
11.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this is when the moon is going to go void. Again, we only sit in this for like less than 10 minutes. The moon shifts into the Leo energy and that concludes our day. 